Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about another very important aspect of uh, Nest.js, Nest.js file upload. So here we are going to cover Nest.js file upload to AWS, Nest.js file upload to Azure. With that we are also going to cover the validation of files and uploading a single file, uploading a multiple files, when uploading all these files how, how can you do the validation of file types, file size. All those concepts are actually scattered and we need to combine all those things together and we should allow uh, an API to upload the file to the Azure blob or AWS S3 bucket. So these are like uh, three, four videos. Uh, this is actually a series of three to four videos and I'm going to cover them one by one. First, let's take a look on how we can add a validation using file interceptor uh, in the Nest.js how we can do the file validation of the type and the size and then we will start looking into configuring the buckets and then uploading the files to the AWS S3. There are also many ways to upload files to the AWS S3. So in this video it's a very important topic Nest.js file upload. I mean I have seen this and people are asking for this thing and because they are not able to do this thing properly like file validations simply first of all file upload or files upload a single file upload or multiple file upload second thing is the file validations based on the memory size and file type third thing is exposing the file upload feature on swagger ui and fourth thing is uploading the files to the aws or azure or cloud third party platform so these four aspects we are going to cover in a, this particular series so for demo purpose, we are going to use our existing project Nest.js file upload, which is having restaurant controller. So I will just add a upload route here and we are going to play with that particular controller route, which is helping us to maybe upload the restaurant image or restaurant thumbnail. Here we are doing a post. So post upload file, let's start uh, our application and see if we are able to see this upload endpoint. Then we will start building on top of that. Okay, restaurant upload is there. Now we will write the actual code here. First of all, some annotations we can add, like what API is consuming either application JSON or multi part form data, and just add these uh, default placeholders. Okay, what all response code this uh, API can return? I mean, just a swagger placeholders. Okay, this API can return internal server error, um, unprocessable entity response due to the bad request so here we are using use interceptors file interceptor file this is important for file upload and this is provided by nest.js we are using use interceptor file interceptor file because in the file attribute you will be passing the file binary and here we are using upload file so nest.js has its own way of uh, doing providing a file validations about the size and type so here we are using parse file pipe builder add file type validator and add file size validator these are two validators already provided there we can specify okay what is the maximum file size and a file type file type i think matches with the regex and then dot build if any error type then we can just return the http status code dot unprocessable entity uh, unprocessable entity so it will send you 422 status code these are the file types and this is the file size in the bytes so maximum file size and maximum file type so this is parse file builder and there we can add these i think two validations or you can also pass the regex okay i'm allowing a jpg png gif all these file images so if any other file with the different extensions will not be allowed for upload so here we are using upload file upload file is a utility provided by nest.js once everything is done it should be able to return us the file so if uh, there is no error then it should be returning as the file. So let's test it using the APIs. Here I'm specifying file object. I mean the file query parameter and sending it. Okay, I got the file. So that means I'm able to check it. But here on the swagger, here on the swagger, I don't see a way to test this. So that is another challenge. First, uh, building a route, then making uh, validations available using the inbuilt nest.js library now exposing this file upload feature on swagger that is the third thing 
so for that we are going to write a simple decorator that will allow us to upload file through the swagger that decorator is just going to help a swagger library to expose a feature so that we should be able to upload a binary file or submit a binary file to this endpoint so this is actually file name file and this is the method decorator so this should be a method decorator returning the file schema so it is using api body that is annotation or decorator provided by nsjs swagger and it is saying that using upload file i am trying to pass a parameter file which is of type binary so this property is of type string and the format of this property which i am going to submit the data is a binary now we can use this custom decorator with uh, our nsjs controller so here upload file file so now I can just restart my application. So now I see this file binary. I can try this and I, I got the option to choose a file. So I choose a file and now this also starts working same as the any postman client because uh, this is possible only with the swagger. Now it is giving us this 422 because we are not passing a file of proper format. So this is also the testing of a 422 status code and a file validation. So that was one way of doing a file validations. Here we are using a parse file pipe builder dot add file type validator dot add max size validator. There is another way. I mean, you can just use in the file interceptor. There is another argument you can pass, which is a file type filter, file filter, and you can just specify your filter. Like, okay, I just want to allow you to only upload an image file filter or a CSV file filter. You can just, this is just a simple function you are going to add. So this function I can add uh, inside this. I can just simply say file dot filter, and that file dot filter there I will have this function. What it will say is it will just allow you to only upload of images files, image file filter. Let's import it, and then what it is doing. Let's fix the imports. And this image file filter. If you look into this, it is checking. Okay, if your file is not matching with that extensions, I'm going to return. I'm going to add some property on the request dot error message. So I, I now have access to the request object and I can check request dot. This first of all, request dot file should be there. And then if the file object is there and request dot file this particular error message is there file validation error is there that means your file uh, is not able to satisfy the validation criteria return the bad request exception otherwise you got the file object and start playing with that file so this is just another way of uh, doing a so just another way in which we can write our simple file validations which will allow only particular format of the file through this regex expression if it is not matching your criteria then just add a request dot file validation error i mean and in the controller we can check if your request object contains file validation error not null that means there is a file validation issue i can send a bad request to the client so overall now we have done three things first of all setting up the file upload second thing is doing the file validation and third thing is exposing this file upload mechanism on swagger ui now it is for one file you can also pass the multiple files the files so that also we will see in the next part and then we will start doing the upload mechanism to aws azure or any third party cloud because once you got the, the file buffer you convert it into a stream and then just start processing the stream and doing the upload using the sdk or cdk provided by azure and aws